everybody. It's Jenny here at St. Anne's Episcopal Church on this beautiful Tuesday morning, and I wanted to get some information out in front of you before this week gets too far away from each of us. And I want to talk specifically about Sunday and all the stuff that's happening on this coming Sunday, the 19th of November. First and foremost, we get to welcome Bishop Jennifer Brooke Davidson to St. Anne's. This will be her first visitation with us. And during her visitation, she will confirm, reaffirm, and receive members of our parish and members from our friends at Ascension and Fork. So the service will be at 10 a.m. on Sunday. We only have one service at 10 a.m. So those who go to 8 and those who go to 11, you're both going to need to adjust your starting time to 10 a.m. And if you're one of the folks who are being confirmed, received, or reaffirmed this coming Sunday, then you need to be at the church by 9.15 so that Bishop Jennifer can meet with us and we get to know her and she gets to know us as we prepare for this wonderful day of celebration. There will be no formation this coming Sunday. So no formation for our little ones, no formation for our big ones, and no formation for our older ones. So just come and be ready for service at 10. And then following the service, we'll have a time of refreshment and reception as we celebrate Bishop Jennifer and as we celebrate all of our confirmands and those who have been received into the Episcopal Church and those who have been reaffirmed in their spiritual journey. Then shortly after the reception begins, J Bishop Jennifer will come and be with the vestry again as we get to know her and she gets to know us and hear part of our story. And then that'll conclude the morning activities of our big day at St. Anne's. But Something is happening later in the day, and it's called Songs of Thanksgiving. And this program of Songs of Thanksgiving has three different parts to it. All of it will be designed in such a way that helps us remember our minister of music, David Pegg, who passed away in August of this year. We will begin with a celebration and a dedication of a garden that David's partner, John, has made in, in his memory that we see every day as we come up the office parking lot steps. It's also the steps that, that David would walk up uh, when he was coming to the building and the steps that our choir walks up. So every time we walk up the steps, we will be reminded of the gift of David Pegg. Following the blessing and the dedication of the garden, we will have a time of music, time of songs of thanksgiving, where members of our choir and former members of our choir and, and people all around in the triad area who have been impacted by David Pegg's mentoring and teaching will come and celebrate David's memory through music and song. And then following the concert, we will then inter David's ashes in our memorial garden out front and then have a time of celebration and reception. And it's just going to be a wonderful, beautiful, gorgeous day. And for folks who, who maybe don't know who David Pegg was, David Pegg was a part of our community for 11 years who he came and transformed our music as our worship as our praise, and he was dedicated to offering young people a chance to be mentored and taught and formed and shaped as faithful singers in a choir. And his legacy ripples out so far and so wide, and we are grateful to be part of that ripple here at St. Anne's. So please plan to join us for worship at 10 a.m. on Sunday, and then songs of Thanksgiving this Sunday afternoon. Take care and God bless.